Welcome to this presentation where I'm going to go through very shortly about every SPSS statistics module. My name is Gunilla Rudander. I'm working for IBM SPSS. All the modules we have here, the base is the biggest one. I'm going through them one by one and starting with the preparation. All studies starting with preparation and sample power is a help to find out how big the sample should be. You can also calculate the power and get some uh, summary in English. If you would like to see if there are any errors or outliers, we have the SPSS data preparation. You can get everything sorted out so you have a list with the cases that has error. So you can go in and correct the data. If there are some missing values, then you can go in having first having some patterns about the missing value and see if there are, there are any serious patterns or differences. Then you can do imputation or replace the missing value with predicted values. In the module called complex samples, you can first have some help to do complex samples and then you can do analysis that is based from these complex samples. Then we have come to the step to do some statistics. In the base module you can do a lot. You can do a lot of tests. Uh, you can do non-parametric tests and you can also do correlation relationship like uh, factor analysis and also cluster analysis and regression, the linear regression. If you'd like to have some tools, then tables module is nice to use. It's easy to use. You just drag and drop and you can create big tables with a lot of information. You can also do some tests and you can also have multiple response sets. In exact tests, you can do exact p-values. And this module is good if you would like to do some tests when you have very small data. When you want to go further with the statistics and do multiple statistics, we have decision trees. That's a module that helps you to find out from a lot of variables which profiles or which variables together are the most important to decide or to have an impact your target variable. And regression is a module where you can do nonlinear regression models, like, for example, logistic regression. If you have a lot of numerical variables, then you can work with advanced models and that's very popular among researchers and also healthcare. You can do ANOVA, you can do repeated measures in ANOVA and you can do survival analysis and advanced GLM models. Bootstrapping is a module if you have small data sets but you want to do some advanced statistics. You get more robust uh, results in this model. Categories is if you work with a lot of categorical variables and for example you can do correspondence analysis. Forecasting is if you don't have people data you maybe have time series, time data in your data set and you would like to follow for example the sales trend then we have the forecasting for that. Conjoint is for organization that is working with product development to get any idea what people really want in products characteristics. Neural networks is some kind of data mining module and like decision trees. Amos is an advanced module but it's easy to use and here you can do some kind of mix between regression and factor analysis at the same time. SPSS Direct Marketing is a special module. You don't have to know anything about statistics because you get help to do the analysis and to understand the results. This is for people who is working with direct marketing and would like to be more profitable in this area. So we have packaged these modules. So the first package is the standard package where we have the base and the three add-on modules. These, th these four modules plus some more is in the professional package. And if you would like to have all the modules, then we have the premium package. Thank you for listening to this. 
and uh, welcome back.